Hey, hope all is fantastic. Welcome to Heart Speak. I'm Sean Robert Graham. Reverend Sean Robert Graham, a.k.a. Bishop Roland Stone. Yes, Lord. <laughs> oh, you're always going to get the performer in me. But uh, anywho, hope all is fantastic. It's a beautiful day here in South Florida. Some rain, but it's always beautiful. Anywho, um, today's episode is like it, 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 you know, it threw me for a loop because I was going in one direction and then I realized I wanted to go or God wanted me, led me rather to go into a different one that, you know, felt more authentic to this moment and where we are. Okay. And so it's funny because this is something that I struggle with for a very long time. And then as I begin to shift into higher states of consciousness, I begin to get these revelations about how all of this stuff that I had once believed was not true, right? And it's so amazing. It's so amazing when you watch yourself grow and shift and power up to like new levels of, of not just thought, but new levels of, of states of being. And, you know, been through so much here in the last four months as far as healing and releasing old wounds and stuff like that. But now, now it's just everything's on, on a different level. OK, and so what 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 I was divinely led to get into is the whole topic of approval. And my objective today as your neighborhood minister, <laughs> maybe, is to give you freedom. And freedom comes once you release man's stronghold on you of needing man's approval. Okay, so I say man, but man can represent your mom. Man can represent your, your dad, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your critics, any type of authority figure, any type of superior. Man can represent any human being what's, whatsoever, right? And so we are brought up in, in, in an almost supreme fashion to want the approval of our fellow man and woman. Okay. We're almost brought up to just crave it. And if we don't get it, what happens? A piece of us feels like it's broken right now. I'm not saying this is everybody because you may be at this point in time where you can say, you know what? They can have their opinion. He can have his opinion. She can have her opinion, but I'm still rooted in who God says that I am. Right. And so as the phone goes off <laughs> to to know that you are rooted and that your value comes from the divine, comes from God and is in here no matter what. That within it lies so much freedom for yourself. OK, so I've been an actor for a very long time. And as an actor, if you know, you experience a lot of rejection. Right. And when you get that rejection, what tends to happen if your self-esteem is not up there and through the roof? You're basically thinking that my worth is contingent upon whether or not these people give me the job. Right. But what if you were rephrase that? Right. What if you were rephrase the fact that I know that I am a phenomenal actor? God says that I'm a phenomenal actor. The divine within me you know, confirms it every day of my life, every moment of the day. And I don't need to judge my worth or value by whether or not I get this job or not. Right. So that's one instance. Right. You know, sometimes people feel like they need to judge themselves by how much money they make when in actuality you're already considered valuable. The moment you came into this world, you were valuable, but you're valuable by God's standards. Right. Not by man's standards. Because see, here's what happens. As human beings, we have a tendency to what? To judge based on what we see, what we get from the person until we elevate to a level where we can say, you know what? I can give you love all of the time. I can look at you as the, 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 the amazing individual that you are all of the time. Nothing can get in the way of me doing that. That's when you reach freedom, right? When you're stuck, Thinking like, okay, 
well, what, what are you doing for me, right? Or, or, or what have you done for me lately? Or, you know, I hadn't seen what, like there's so many different things that are used as a scale of approval. What if, right? What if we just said, you know what? You're the best, I approve of you, I love you, I accept you, I appreciate you no matter what. Yeah, you might piss me off sometimes. Yeah, I might not agree with what you do, but I love you, I accept you, I approve you, you're the best, you're amazing, done deal, right? What if we just give that to people without having to have them work? You know, you think about jobs, I've had jobs in the past where my value, think how crazy this is, my value was based on how well I pleased this other human being in charge. And I sit there and I think about that. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of, that's not the best. But that's how I was trained. Please this individual at all costs, right? They are superior to you. They are better than you. But the truth is, they're not. They're just playing a role in this big entertainment blockbuster film of life. Just like you and me. They're just playing a role, right? Now, no one role is better than the other, no matter what it looks like. But it's us that has, to, that we've got to realize that on the inside first if things are to change. So all I'm telling you is get your approval from yourself, get your approval from God, get your approval from everything divine that you possibly can, right? It's, it's, cool. it's, it's a good thing to enjoy the approval of people, of human beings, but do not base your worth on that. Base your worth on what God says about you. Base your worth on what the universe says about you. Base your worth on what you divinely feel about yourself. And I promise you, you will skyrocket in every single level because like Russell Simmons says, needing nothing attracts everything. You're not at the mercy of being attached to something. You're not at the mercy of, 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 of being in this, in this place of, well, I need this person to, to, to do this or I can't do that. See that? That's dualistic living. We don't want dualistic living. We want to be able to stand in our center, stand in our truth and be who we need to be no matter what. Right? And I love the example that acting gives because, you know, a lot of times, you can you can be moved to the place of thinking that you're not worthy because of what somebody else said and you don't even know their process of choosing why they chose it. Oftentimes it's not even personal. And if it is personal, guess what? That's just you being led to know that it's not about you, right? You are already worthy. You're already valuable. You are already on top where you need to be. Take that into account. Never look back. Right. You don't need man's approval because God has given you his approval since the day you were conceived. You've got that approval. You've got that worth. You've got that value inside. Operate now knowing that you have that. We will talk soon. Take care. Mr. Real.